Hello everyone, this is my final video about Orange build. It took me a while to finish this project in its current state and uh, I did a few mistakes, I learned a few things and that's what I'm going to share with you in this particular video. First thing I did differently this time, I ordered custom painted and modified case from outside company, I meant PC Tech in, in my case. I really happy with the result, this is definitely light years ahead from what I ever did myself painting and modifying cases in house, so the quality of the job is exceptional. Few things I could do better also. One is I should have think better about what exactly design I would like to make and how my build would look as an end result, because I ordered the case and okay, I want uh, this color, I want the window and we went ahead and produce it and then when i started actually thinking harder about what i would like to do and how differently i would like to do that and uh, i did uh, some design decisions like putting my controller and uh, a reservoir inside of the computer and now when i have my panel with window open for motherboard area this part is get covered if I would think better I would ask to make two windows or make different shape window and that case would look much more better right one thing I actually did really good by mistake and it was sending Bill a few accessory parts I sent him those grills I sent the front panel for controllers um, on the inside and front panel for, for aqua air and this was excellent things to do because as a proof as you can see I use grills in the case and this thing so this whole design I think would be much more boring without those accents so if you order painting job from somebody or even you do it yourself think what else you can paint because it's, it's very little extra job to do but you can have much more stunning result so that, that definitely that I did right and turn it right another thing that I would like to tell you about um, painting cases especially when you use a high grade automobile paint which really like look fantastic and uh, especially when it's buffed and everything be careful don't scratch it uh, when you put things in and out, uh, it's very easy to chip the paint the same way how it can be chipped from the hood of your car when you hit it with a stone on the highway. Or for example, I had a few chips uh, in that area here because when I put my front cover on the case, my um, CD cover would be misaligned a little bit and you know, you scratch the corner and you know, you damage your your paint which is not nice so you have to work out with the touch paint and things like this so watch watch things like that another moment I would like to touch briefly is uh, if you order some fancy accessories for example those um, fan grills again from PC Tech this fan grill um, make sure you have a proper mounting hardware you probably remember I had probably like two three weeks problem finding right screws to to put those grills on top and on the back because the thickness of the grill is about five millimeters so no other screws will work that you already have so because they're too short so you have to scout around try to find this so be prepared uh, to have a proper mounting hardware if you're ordering uh, custom custom grills from again from MNCP Tech for example moving along the biggest mistake in my book that I did for this build is was not checking how UV orange coolant will work under UV light I was just assuming that if it's orange it glow orange right so it's not so it glows a uh, greenish uh, yellowish color so and for that reason a lot of work that I put down with UV lights and everything and didn't work out for me so again when you make selection for color um, liquids or cables or anything 
make sure that you verify which color it is under UV light and which color it under normal light because it could be quite different and can be black under normal light and blue under UV or like in my case orange under normal light and uh, yellowish greenish under um, under UV light so this is definitely thing that need to be fixed and actually I might look into redesigning the case again in a few months right now I already bored with this one and uh, we'll try to resolve this situation with some other means another thing that also I would like to bring your attention is that I, I usually use acetal blocks in the past so it wasn't an issue for me but this time I decided to go with plexi blocks and put some back lighting uh, in, into that and uh, again I want to use my coolant I want to use uh, UV LEDs to light up blocks and uh, what I discovered as you again already probably know that the um, purple color from, from UV light is, is still there it, it's the color from the coolant will not overpower bluish glow of the LED light so basically my suggestion that if you would like to backlight your blocks unless you use blue or purple uh, color scheme avoid UV lights entirely it, it's better to get a proper color if you build in red uh, build use red LEDs green green and so on and so forth or orange like in my case you can see when I start using orange LEDs I get proper color when I had backlight with UV it was like this bluish stuff that doesn't go away whatever you do so again so if I come back with for this build I will definitely put orange lights in my memory cooling and my CPU block so it will get a little bit more glow all over the place because now I only limit to my graphical cards and that's something that again I did a wrong assumption didn't check went all the way to build the thing and discovered in the end right disappointment but something that you might avoid in the future if you watch this video other than that I really happy how things turn out I think there's a lot of design solutions that I really like the only one additional comment I'd like to make is about Admiral Radiator one thing that I, I noticed usually when you fill your system you barely need I don't know a little bit more than half a liter of the liquid in my experience maybe 0 0.7 something like this this radiator holds much more liquid than similar sized traditional dual pass radiators I, I basically use the entire li liter of, of liquid for my build and it's not much stuff here really it's a little bit in uh, coolant reservoir a um, few blocks so nothing special but this is definitely a device that have much more tubing big diameter tubing inside so be ready when this product will be released if you have even bigger size of radiator you might be short on liquid so be ready on that department also uh, I just would like to note as you can hear I bring fans level significantly down right now it's about 1400 rpm and to my surprise the temperature didn't went up that much I, I was afraid that you have to spin um, fans really fast to get proper cooling performance and uh, it seems that radiator is uh, less dependent of uh, the fan speed comparing with with others I'm not sure what the reason for that maybe because it's less restrictive so you can uh, air moving much easier through the radiator but it definitely behaves slightly different of, of from traditional radiators that's for sure so um, and actually what I'm going to do is uh, 
I will plan to partially disassemble my my orange build and use this radiator for my new CPU roundup because I haven't did testing for CPUs for a, for a year and uh, there's a few new blocks appear since then so I would like to test them and see uh, how they behave and also I, I want to use this radiator for, for this purpose also this motherboard is perfectly fine uh, for this kind of test because I can run standard speeds and just with press of one button go to 4 gig and test it with uh, overclocked speed so that's my plan for this particular uh, build to slightly disassemble it make it CPU only loop and test few blocks on it using this radiator well other than that that's all I can share with you about this project it was a lot of fun to do I didn't produce it to use it I just want to have some fun building it but next projects coming it's actually will be my own gaming computer and uh, I will think about usability a lot so it doesn't matter if you look be like pretty it's actually I have certain requirements that I'd like to achieve and this is performance and as silence as I can get so I really hate noise so next build will be definitely focused on some practical uh, results getting out of water cooling system and less just pure designing and um, beautifying things type of approach that I was criticized a lot so thank you for watching this series I come back with a new build as I assemble enough parts to start it and uh, we will have some more fun with another project thank you and see you soon